Hi guys, welcome back. This is Sneaksy Garrett here again, and this is part two of the tutorial three, the simple level tutorial. First off, I want to apologize because I screwed up in the last video. I said that the convict and gin were already loaded, but uh, that was not the case. That's not the case. So um, I did add some annotation to that video, but in case you somehow missed that, um, I'm just going to go quickly over that again. So please make sure to go to custom, load script, load convict, and load gen. And I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm doing that for mine because I had, I did not have those loaded. And just to give you a, a peek, I have not showed you this before, but here is the mono window. And as you can see here, it says loaded script module convict and loaded script module gen. You want to see that within your mono window and that shows that they've been successfully loaded. Very handy, the mono window. Okay, so now that we've gotten those out of the way, let's finish setting up the starting point. The first thing that we need to do is we need to go into properties of the starting point and go to add s scripts and type in victory check one word, one entire thing, capital V, capital C. You see now we've got victory check and we have a contains link to the sword and a player factory link to Garrett. Now I didn't mention in the last video um, any of the other weapons but it's basically the same process. You would just do a contains link to say the blackjack for example or um, in the case of a of the bow you would create a broadhead arrow in the world and then you would contain do a contains link to that that said let's let's go back to the mission here and the next thing that I wanted to talk about was um, setting up the AI patrolling now first before we go any further with that I'd like to say that for the the sound, we did not go over sound at all. Uh, you need to have what's called a room brush, specifically, around your airbrush. I'm uh, making that distinction because technically all things with Andromeda, as I've said before, are brushes. But the room brushes, um, don't get that confused with the actual airbrush. The room brush, that's basically how the game um, calculates sound for an actual room. So I know that sounds confusing, but here let me show you how that's done. So what you will do is you will select the room that you want to create a room brush for and you can do shift insert and that will create this purple room brush around your room. And we'll want to go ahead and do that for this other room as well. Shift insert again and now we've got two room brushes. Now because they are directly overlapping these, you can't select them and you can't see them. So to get around that issue, hold down control and then it will select the room brush if you're having trouble getting uh, a hold of that brush. So with that said, the next thing that I need to introduce you to is under tools and it's called Compute Pathfinding Database. This is important because this sets up how AI will actually be able to path, um, how they'll be able to move around within the world. They have to have, there's this calculation that has to be done for that to be set up properly. Without it, they, they don't know where they're at, it, it won't work. So you need to do a compute pathfinding database. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. okay and I'm getting this error now this I'm getting an error and you notice it lit up blue before I started this video I actually had already created some room brushes so what I'm gonna do is delete these because there's already some in there and I'm going to recompute the pathfinding let's check mono okay everything's good good alright the next thing you need to do is something called build room database. This is 
So every time you create a room brush for your airbrushes, you you need to create you need to build the room database. Um, I don't know you know the the technical details about that, but I I'm guessing it has to do with um, setting up the numbering and all any properties that might be within those room brushes. And then one final thing that you need to do, I know it's a lot, but you, you have to do these different things. So for the AI, you need to do build AI room database. So first thing, compute pathfinding. Next, build room database. I'll go ahead and do that. And then I will do build AI room database. Okay. And I'll show you my mono window. So here's the mono window. You see that it tells you that building rooms, checking rooms, rooms checked, building AI rooms. So there we go. We have that set up. So now we should be good to go. Now, when you actually go into game mode, not only the AI will actually be able to patrol now, and you will hear sounds within the world without the room brush when you go into game mode and you may have noticed this already once once you if you've already uh tried game mode within one of the previous tutorial videos while you're watching that so th that's the reason the the reason why there's no sound is because you didn't have any room brushes set up so now we finally got that set up and um if you go into game mode now, then you should be able to hear the AI walking. On the, You should hear his footsteps and him saying anything. So that should be all set up. And you can go ahead and test that now if you'd like. I'll give you a moment for that. Okay, so now that we've we've got that all set up, we need to make sure that we have patrol points for the AI. So we need to create a troll point. You can go to marker within the object hierarchy and then go to troll point and you'll create one of those. I've already got them set up here but you'll want to place them where you want the AI to actually patrol. So these are sort of like waypoints. This is this is basically his patrol route. So once you've done that make sure first of all make sure you have the beginning patrol point within where the AI is standing. In other words, you, you want to have the first one inside of his brush, or at least you want it to be close to where he's going to start out. So you have that one. I don't know if that's, to be honest, I don't know if that's technically required, but I always do that. I, I set the patrol point within there. So the next thing you want to do is go down here to links. And I've already set this up, but what you would do is you'd go to add you'd find AI patrol and then you would create a link to the next marker within the patrol route so in this case I have a from 3 which is the first one and 2 4 which is the next one and you also notice that there's this tilde AI patrol in here as well that is basically a link back that's from the other patrol point back to this one so you'll do that same process for the next marker from 4 to 5 and so on and then finally from the very last patrol point you will link that back to the beginning one. That way you have a complete um, patrol route set up. And of course you have to by default guards do not patrol so we need to go within his properties and go to add AI ability settings and then you will see patrol does patrol now this is grayed out because I've already set that in my on this guard but you can go here to where it says ability settings you, you should get this window here with a checkbox so you'll check that and hit OK and then you'll see this in his properties patrol does patrol true so we've now finally got the sword guard set up to patrol. So now when you go into game mode, you should see him walk around the column and then come back to the beginning. So finally got our starting point set up with just a sword. 
but you can add the other things in here and you'll do the same process with the sword you'll just create it outside of the world and do the contains link all right so that's it for this tutorial i introduced you to the the room brushes which you will need to do for every single room that you create and the easiest way of doing it is again shift insert and then that way it creates it exactly the same dimensions as the room now before I go I should actually mention that you can do a manual room brush creation and the way you would do that is see down here it says create you would click on that and then you would select room and then from there it's downhill you just click and drag and there you go I've created a new room but I don't want that because I've already set up my rooms so we've got this all set up and you should be good to go so that's the end of this tutorial um, I hope that you found that useful for a new video it would be a bit more in-depth and we'll actually show you how to create a full package because as it is right now all we've created is a dromid level in other words you can't go and play this in thief yet we have to set all of that up and that would be in a more advanced tutorial but i just wanted to show you how to make a quick little level thanks for watching